What is up you guys, Stevie here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you guys can see from the title, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys my top five jackets that I'm gonna be sporting for this winter season. Each of these jackets I've just been living in, obsessed with. Obviously I wanna share it with you guys, talk about how I'd style it, where you can get these specific jackets from. And then as always, something I've been trying to do lately with my recent videos is link a ton of amazing affordable alternatives to each of these said pieces that I talk about in my videos. So make sure you check out the description box for all things that I'm wearing, talking about, and of course, affordable alternatives. Something I've also been doing as of late is uploading more on Instagram and TikTok. So if you aren't following me over there, make sure you do that as well. And yeah, as always, it's definitely gonna get chatty. Do what you have to do, grab a snack, grab a drink, and just kind of relax with me for a bit. And let's get into these top five jackets that I'm gonna be sporting for this winter season. The first jacket that I think is so essential for this time of the year is none other than a puffer jacket. This one specifically is from Cole Buxton from their more recent collection and launch. It's in this really nice, what they refer to as chestnut brown color. It's kind of, as you can see, in this like translucent-esque puffy material. The filling on this bad boy is crazy. It definitely keeps me warm. And I just love the overall kind of like aesthetic that this offers. I feel like it's a little bit more different and just a little bit more elevated than your traditional puffer jacket. Just kind of speaking to this piece, specifically a ton of you guys have been asking me like just some questions about this piece specifically so real quick i picked up a size extra large because i wanted it to fit super oversized yes it does keep you nice and warm it has a double zipper as you will see from the b-roll clips and the reference photos and overall even though it is a little bit more on the pricier end i would 100 percent cannot recommend enough it also comes in a gray color and then they did it in a black color as well so that specific piece aside the reason why i feel like puffer jackets are so essential for this time of the year is i just feel like obviously it's hella cold out for some of you guys it might be snowing it might be raining a lot and so a puffer jacket is truly just a great go-to jacket for me me personally I tend to kind of dress it down and I don't really try to dress it up I just feel like with the nature of that jacket it does lean a little bit more on the casual side you know a nice little like some pants some boots a turtleneck or a hoodie underneath and I feel like you are good to go you don't necessarily have to get that specific one from Cole Buxton that is just my personal favorite as of late so as I mentioned in my intro I will be sure to leave links to some affordable alternatives to that said puffer jacket as well as just like some other ones that I've been really liking as of late Coming in at number two on the list, this would be no surprise to you guys, I'm talking about a overcoat. This one specifically is from H&M and it's actually from the women's section. I picked it up in a few sizes up just so naturally it could fit me on my body type and of course get that really nice oversized flowy fit. And I think if you guys have been following me for quite some time now, you would know that I'm not opposed to wearing and purchasing things from the women's range and collection from brands. I feel like it's just kind of one of those things, wear whatever the fuck you want to wear and style it appropriately and you'll be good to go. I have them in a ton of colors and i feel like the reason why i love them so much is because they're truly so versatile you can dress them up you can dress them down in terms of dressing them up solid turtleneck pair of pants a really nice pair of boots do your hair a really good scarf you're good to go and then you can on the other hand dress it down with maybe like a hoodie a pair of sweatpants a really nice clean pair of sneakers some chunky socks and a hat or like a fisherman beanie of some sort and you are also good to go i feel like when it comes to the jackets that i'm going to be talking about in today's video i really do feel like the overcoat is is truly the most versatile and i think if you had to get one of these jackets out of the whole entire list i would highly recommend an overcoat you truly can get it from pretty much anywhere you can get it on the more affordable end such as the hm one i just showed or you can go ahead and invest one from one of your favorite designer brands but kind of the overall consensus is that overcoats 10 out of 10 super versatile you can pick them up anywhere and it's just a classic that i feel like is so essential in your wardrobe especially for this time of the year Taking a quick break from today's video to thank today's video sponsor, Monos. If any of you guys have been watching me for a while now, you would know Monos is truly, truly, truly my go-to brand when it comes to all things luggages, backpacks, duffel bags, essentially any sort of accessory that I need for traveling, Monos has got me covered. I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorite pieces from them and then if any of you guys are interested, I have a discount code that you guys can check out and use and I'll leave all of those links in the description box down below. As you can see, I have a lot of stuff from them. So kind of starting in the front, this is their Carry On Plus. So it's a little bit bigger than I carry on and they have other sizes in this particular uh, kind of style and silhouette as well. And then towards the back, this is their check-in medium. So as you can see, I really liked this kind of uh, range that they offer with their luggages. But like I said, they have a ton of amazing other options that you guys can choose from. I love kind of this outside style and silhouette and design. And I love the locks on the side. 
I love how there's a top handle right here, there's a side handle right here, and then of course the nice like 360 wheels is always a plus. I don't know, they're, like these types of wheels are, are just like so convenient. So again, this is the Carry On Plus, and then in the back, this is the check-in medium. I'll go ahead and open these up in a second so I can just show you guys how much stuff and just like all the features on the inside because those go crazy as well. This bag specifically right here is called their Metro Duffel. Nice little leather accents with the top handle. There's a ton of just like compartments in the front in the back and then there's obviously this nice bit right here that you can kind of slide on the top of luggages like this again just perfect for like traveling going through the airport this also holds a lot of stuff which is amazing and this also comes in other colors materials all that good stuff and then last but not least you already know what it is when you're traveling you gotta have a nice little backpack situation going so this right here is their metro backpack again very similar to the metro duffel which i just talked about nice little black nylon leather accents throughout nice comfortable straps in the back with the thing that i mentioned you can hook this up to your luggage so when you're going through the airport nice and convenient this also holds a ton of stuff and then this part right here in the front is like a removable pouch that doubles as additional storage um, but also a nice little design feature as well so needless to say 10 out of 10 if you ask me. So I went ahead and I opened up the Carry On Plus just to kind of show you guys the inside and the features of a luggage from Monos again on the inside. Nice and secured straps that kind of like hold all of your pieces down. Just a ton of zipper compartments for all of your things that you need. It comes with a additional or multiple additional bags for like your dirty clothes or just anything you might want to like stow away in a more secured spot. Again, with the luggage kind of compartment, a nice little mesh situation happening, and then it also folds over. This is usually where I keep all of my shoes because I kind of like my shoes to be separate from my clothes, obviously. And then I personally have a nice little tag, which they sell as well. Um, nice little sponge for like cleaning the actual luggage. And yeah, overall, just 10 out of 10 in my opinion, truly holds a lot. And I love how everything is just so organized, especially with all of the compartments. Coming in at jacket number three is a bomber jacket. This one specifically is from Cole Buxton from again, their latest collection and range. It's in that same translucent kind of material and fabric as the puffer jacket that I mentioned from jacket number one. However, this is the bomber silhouette. This is in their translucent gray colorway. And I wanted to pick this up because on top of just bomber jackets being an essential for me for this time of the year, I haven't seen a bomber jacket done like this. And Cole Buxton truly kicked it out of the park with this one. This is obviously a brand new purchase. So I've been definitely having a lot of fun styling this up. And I just feel like a bomber jacket, especially this one is, in my opinion, such a banger. I really feel like a bomber jacket is such a great casual option when it comes to an outerwear piece for this winter season. I love wearing bomber jackets, oversized ones specifically with hoodies underneath, sweatpants, sneakers, a really nice fisherman beanie, and maybe like a crossbody bag or a tote of some sort. I feel like if you're looking for something that's not as heavy as a puffer jacket, but you still want to, of course, be warm and cozy and have that outerwear layered moment for the winter season, I think a bomber jacket is definitely the way to go. You don't necessarily have to get that one specifically from Cold Buxton because it does come with a hefty price tag. And I do think that they're sold out, unfortunately. So I'll try my best to find some other bomber jackets that I've been really liking from other brands lately. And I'll be sure to leave that link in the description box down below. Coming in at jacket category number four, I want to talk to you guys about these types of jackets. And I don't necessarily know what the category is. I want to call it workwear. I kind of want to call it like quilted-esque jackets. I don't necessarily know, but just like this overall arching vibe is what I'm talking about. Piece right here specifically is from PacSun and the brand is Land Rover. It's really nice. Again, kind of like quilted tan jacket. It doesn't have a collar or anything. And I just feel like this jacket, you guys will see from the styling like bureau clips and photos and stuff was definitely something a little bit different for me but i feel like this jacket and these types of jackets right here just give me all the cozy winter vibe i feel like this is the type of jacket that you would gravitate towards if you're like staying up and turning toward a cabin if you're going on like a nice little winter getaway of some sort and i just feel like these types of jackets in my opinion just are so appropriate for the holiday season i love this one right here from land rover and paxson and i do believe it also comes in black as well so if you don't like like the tan color they also have a black version but i just 
really like those types of jackets because I feel like if you're the type of person and your style just leans a little bit more towards the casual side of things and you're looking for an outerwear piece that's even more casual than a bomber jacket, I feel like those types of jackets, again, I don't know what I'm calling it just yet, but those types of jackets, in my opinion, are just the epitome of that. I love styling those down with a really nice oversized hoodie underneath, get like all the cozy vibes. I feel like maybe a nice pair of jeans just to really play into the more casual side, but elevate it just a little bit further than a traditional sweatpant and hoodie combo. Some really nice pair of chunky boots. You guys know I've been really liking Uggs lately. If you watch my recent videos, I just recently talked about that. A really nice hat, maybe an oversized scarf, and you are good to go. Like obviously you're seeing the name of the category that I landed on for this particular jacket that I'm talking about, but if, I, if it's not right, <laughs> and if you guys can find like another word for the jacket and this category, let me know and comment it down below because like I'm kind of stumped. I don't, I don't know what I should call it. Like if it's quilted, if it's workwear, if it's like fucking cabin vibes. I don't know what to call it. So let me know in the comments down below. All right, and then my last and final jacket that I feel like is so essential for this time of the year is definitely, hands down, a trench coat. This one specifically, I thrifted two years ago and I still have it to this day and I still love it till this day. I picked this up for like, I think 10 or $15. Yeah, I just love this trench coat. I feel like it goes well with everything. You truly can dress it up and dress it down. And it's just such a practical piece of outerwear for this time of the year. My biggest piece of advice when it comes to trench coats one don't spend your money on getting expensive ones you literally can find some bangers at the thrift store so that's kind of like a two-in-one don't spend a lot of money go to the thrift store and three in my humble opinion i personally feel like trench coats look better when they're oversized and you guys will see that from the b-roll clips and the photos that's why like in the styling that's why it looks so like it low-key kind of looks like i'm being swallowed by the jacket and that's intentional and that's on purpose and i just feel like it looks better that way i don't like a tight fitting outerwear piece because i just feel like it looks uncomfortable. I feel like for me personally, the whole purpose of wearing jackets and wearing oversized pieces is so that it, it creates an opportunity to layer underneath your said jacket. And so if your outerwear is just like tight and hugging you like crazy, in my opinion, it's gonna look kind of stupid. So again, oversized is better in my opinion, especially when it comes to the trench coats. All right, you guys, and that is it for my top five jacket that I feel like is so essential for this winter season. Again, links to everything mentioned and worn will be in the description box down below. And just really make sure you check out that description box because humbly speaking, I spent a lot of time on making sure that I'm coming through with quality, just amazing links for you guys in that description box. So again, don't sleep on that and make sure that you guys follow me over on Instagram and TikTok as I've been producing a lot of content for those set platforms. It's just my name, I'll throw it up on the screen and hopefully all of you guys are having an amazing holiday season so far and yeah i think that's it for today's video so i'll catch you guys in the next one peace